passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Operation Pigmentation, we're back for another week. It feels like we're doing these more than once a week, but I think that's just because I saw you guys on Friday. I stopped by for a haircut on the way uh, after picking up Sam from school. Craig, I don't know if you realize that I still haven't paid you yet for that haircut. Oh, I I, I definitely realized. Did you? Come on. Yeah, I did. Did you? I just what what I was gonna just call you or something? No, I know. I mean, I would. I'm gonna get. I forgot that I I said I was gonna give you the money. I got the money. I just okay. Well, yeah. I mean. Are you on the mic? I can't. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this good enough for you, Seth? Guys, we've been doing this. A, we've been doing this a while now. I mean, it's been a minute. It's been last since last week. Rio, yeah. what's going on with you? I'm doing wonderful. He didn't say anything about me not paying him, did he? No. Okay. I just want to make sure. I, this was news to me. I just found out that this that happened. Okay. I just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure. Because guess what? If it was somebody else, I'd have brought it up. Okay. Well, guess what? We're cool. Straight up. I'm I don't going- think he really cares. No, he should care. I'm sending it. I don't know how much a haircut is, Craig, but, uh, you know, you're cool with whatever I send you, right? Yeah, you are. That that, that sounds like a a trick question. (laughs) 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 Oh, well, I just, I just cashed up. You tell me, you tell me if I need to send you more or not. All righty. We'll, we'll soon to find out. All right. Let me talk to you guys. So. I was in the. Uh, I stopped by. I think. I think it must have been last Friday. Maybe last Thursday. <laughs> was that? Yeah, that was Friday. That last, was Friday. That was Friday. Was it Friday? Oh, oh hell no! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Fuck man! No, Come thank on. you, bro. We thank didn't even you, do bro. the. We didn't even do a beard. We just yeah, did. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do the top. Just, yeah, right. Thank you, bro. I was just fucking around. All right, I'm just trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know how much hair. Dude, Craig, when I was going back in the day, haircuts were 12 bucks. Yeah. And I gave, I give you like, I'd give you a 20, like yeah. every time. You've always been a good tipper. No, so, but now I don't even know. I know haircuts like 20, but I'm still giving you 20. Haircuts are 25. 25? Yeah, with the shave, they're 30. Oh. But, Seth, you got to remember, we're tighter than. The average customer? Yeah, we mm. actually get, you know, stuff. We do stuff together. Am, right? I gra- am I grandfathered in for that $12 cut forever? No, you grandfathered in to keep coming with at least the $20 bill. <laughs> okay. At least the $20 bill. <laughs> All right, so when I rolled by last Friday, you guys were telling me a story about, I guess a guy had just left. It was some sort of, I don't know if it was a homeless man or if it was a legit law. Okay, you want me, I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, just to go ahead. Archie Lee, one of the characters in our neighborhood, <laughs> decides that, I'm not going to say decide, he's supposed to be cutting the grass at the daycare. Across the street from the shop. He waits till high noon <laughs> <laughs> to go out there after he spends three hours that morning talking about, and I don't know if I want to cut the grass because, man, she be dragging me about the money, and I don't know if I want to do it right now. And then we so tired of hearing this that all of us are saying, hey, you know you need the money. Is he homeless? No. No. Is he, is he uh, drugs? No. No. What's he? What's he? What's he doing? We figured it out. He's just uh, lazy, lazy as fuck. <laughs> but, but he's getting by with most people. But he's getting by still. Well, yeah, he he's gets a disability user. check, and you know yeah. he's what do you get like sixties? Some welfare, some disability. You know, he's right. in his sixties. Okay, so he's supposed to set. He, how much did he get paid? How much is he getting paid to mow the daycare? I don't fuck. You guys don't, don't know. know. Uh, no. All right, so he's sitting at the shop, going, "I don't know if I want to go mow the yeah, lawn." Mind the, you, he got a dollar store uh, lawnmower. He had to get that lawnmower from the dollar Straight store. Straight up. How but bad? It, how bad was it? People make fun of my electric lawnmower. Was it? Was it worth like a like a? Was it like a little Tykes lawnmower? Listen, or something? Yeah. I really think he got yeah. it from the dollar store. I think he got it out the dollar <laughs> or tree. Or five below. <laughs> At the dollar tree. He might have got it from five below. Maybe five below. Straight up. Five dollar holla. So did he go out there at high noon? Yep. Yeah. And then what happened? 
What did you think happened? Heat stroke and everything else <laughs> set in. We looked across the street and he was laying in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> he did at that point. He didn't have a heat stroke. He was just taking a break. <laughs> Remind you, this guy is 60 years old now. And he's chain smoke cigarettes. Yeah, he chain smoke cigarettes. So <laughs> so he comes. Now he's made his way to the barbershop. Were you guys concerned when you saw him laying down? No. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. It's your lazy ass yeah, up. Yeah, your lazy ass up. And lazy matter of fact, up. you stupid for going over there like that. Don't you know the police comes to our neighborhood so much? Not the police, the ambulance comes so much. They know people by name. Yeah. Who is it this time? Is it Charlie? Oh, he's probably just not on his meds. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? So he came over to the barbershop? And passed out again. Where On the on the chairs? No, he was over there on the bean bags, <laughs> stretched out. Well, what's, why is he so sleepy? I mean, can I just say, just so people know, the, the lawn around the daycare is not, it's not like a football field or anything. No. Right. I mean, it's like, I mean, the it's. The size of an end zone. Right. It's something that could take, you know, what, 10 minutes to do? Maybe five? No, I mean, it's a job. All right. But, what, but I mean, just, he has absolutely nothing else to do in the course of a day. And you said he only did half the lawn, right? He didn't yep. even do half. He did like <laughs> he a strip. Yep. He, <laughs> he, he left third. it. And he left it. Well, he yep. came and finished it the next morning. The next but day. Oh, these poor ladies. At the morning, when, when he should have did it, you know, when it's nice and cool. Is he hustling the lady up at the daycare? Like, I believe he is. He's want, trying to hustle her ass over. We, I feel like you should let her know that there's probably other. She knows. She, she knows. knows how to deal with him. Okay. That's why yeah. That's why he gets paid. That's he why gets paid. he gets paid. Yeah. yeah. She has him under complete control. But, uh, complete control. Uh, there's yeah. another, another thing I wanted to ask you guys about um, when I was in the barber shop, and I thought that this was really cool. And I, again, I'm going to just go ahead and say, that I don't know how much this happens in you know white communities uh, you know but there was a lady that came in that's like hey I got I got salmon I got chicken I got rice I got and she had all these meals just like out of the back of her car and she was driving around and you guys told me that she was hustling and I thought that was awesome you know trying to you know sell dinner it was like 3 30 so Craig's like I can't have dinner right now you know it'll all fuck yeah, me that, up yeah, so I'm getting in trouble at home it sounded really <laughs> it sounded really really good now is mm-hmm. that something that that happens is that a common business where where, you know, people will pop in and, and see if you want food because they have it in their car? Or is that just like a, a one-off kind of, you know, business thing that I just happen to see? No, that's a regular uh, a current thing. It is? Yeah, you got people in the hood that, like that lady, that particular lady, she probably is retired. And, what? That know. lady was so young, I thought. So well, we got a different. We got a couple of them. Okay, he's well, talking about the young lady. Yeah, because Craig, oh, bless you. bless you. Craig was flirting with her. Craig's like, oh, that one. Yeah, because Craig goes. But again, it just shows that you I can come and <laughs> she can cook up a big meal, portion it out, and then come and sell it and yeah. make money off of that. We, if it's good, people gonna buy. It. And 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 you can make good money hustling that up. Yeah. yeah. And do you guys try the food? Yeah, I get a plate from her every time she come. Oh, do you feel like it's like you? Do you feel like you have to, or you just do it because you like it? Well, both, both. Okay, because uh, I want to. You know, we we Wanna like take, to. If it's bad, you we like not to patronize mind. our little black business and encourage people. Like you've seen the young lady. Yes, she's a very nice looking young lady. Yes, she could always elect to go other ways and other options of making money, she chooses to do it this way. Right. And still look that way. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I, I respect it because I, I, don't, I fear rejection tremendously and, and she's hustling because she's going into every business, stopping by, popping in, telling right. everybody what they have and she handled it like Craig's like, no, I'm good. I think you guys were good and you know, she left and she's like, hey, no problem. So, right. I don't know. I just was wondering how often that happened. That's I, like daily. Yeah, daily. Every day. And, and somebody some pulls up to the shop. But that's yeah. not happening like, that's not happening at Great Clips or anything like that Fuck or, no, it's not allowed. Right. <laughs> Their insurance company wouldn't even allow that. Yeah, they wouldn't allow it. But no one's just no one's popping in any businesses in like South Tampa being like, hey, I got some fucking salmon in my car. Do you want any? Now it depends on where you're at. Okay. Because the Dominicans, the Spanish, the Latino community, they do that as well. You got people in the community that do pull up and they got food and stuff and they sell 
I don't believe it's as common as it is in the hood, but it's it's still something that goes on. What if I pulled up and I'm like, yo, I got in the car. I got six different kinds of hummus. I got some pita bread. You're going to leave with six kinds of hummus. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Period. You stop it's you right enough, there. It's not enough weed in the world <laughs> to make us have the munchies to be like, hey, man, you know what self come by, man. You got to get that up. The honey roasted hummus, you know that. First the, off, it ain't a whole lot of niggas that even know, know what, what the hell hummus is. is. Right. Yeah. And the yeah, two that up. do know what it is ain't eating it. Yeah. <laughs> ain't that some? Ain't that some? Right. That's funny shit. Yeah, I was really some, man. Yeah, you ain't gonna. You ain't going in the white neighborhood Good. and selling a yeah. whole lot of hummus. <laughs> so, if I, so if I said, if I'm like, hey, what's going on? Hey, my name's Seth, and I got uh, hamburgers and hot dogs in the car. I just made some, you know, mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese, you know, and some other starches. Oh, can I help you? Like, would you like any? Could you could you see that working at all? Not no, for you. Not for you. Well, not I, okay, not for me, but because people have food trucks these days. Well, you got to also remember, Seth. These people that are doing this live in the same community where we live at. So they're patronizing or they're asking their community to patronize. You're not per se living or known in our community. So for one, a thing that most black people live by, die by is I ain't eating nothing from somebody I don't know. Okay, that's fair. I think that everybody should live and die by that. Right. Outside then, of the fast food people, we trust them. Like, but yeah. then there's going to be... You also don't have large mammary glands or fat buttocks. <laughs> you have all the wrong parts okay. all to right. do that. Yeah, you're not going to be able to sell Well, picks. I think not... I'm not necessarily speaking about me, Seth, the uh, you know awesome man. I'm more speaking about like just a white guy like trying to yeah. pull that off. And, and it's not... Now, I mean, you know, you got some that can, but again, they got a name. Somebody in the neighborhood, no one can vouch. For them. Hey, yeah. remember back in the day, like they would have those ladies in bikinis selling uh, hot dogs hot on the dogs corners. On Gandhi, they banned it Again, Gandhi. you don't have to. Uh, when you got those kind of assets, they sell themselves. Yeah, I have no. Yeah. I, I have, you have none of that. I have no assets, but I have a mind to make some money off of hummus. But I'll, I guess I'll have to start with it. Yeah, under, you got to find yeah, another. Good luck delivery. with that, buddy. All right, thanks. Good yeah, luck you gotta with find that. Another For, you got to find another area. Hey, listen, yeah. I I like that. I like that lady, and I want to start having more, more guests on the show. And I know Craig, you and I talked about it, but like I would like to get her on. Like I'd like to get her story. I want to hear she, about. Her. She is ready to come on. Okay, I'm seriously yeah. like I want to hear about her hustle. Like to me, like she's not even from here either. She yeah. just moved down here. Yep. Okay, so I like again. I want to. I want to know her deal. Like, I want to. I want to know what's going on. So if we didn't know if we could bring our, you know, people. Yeah, constituents. We're, yeah, listen. You know, because the last time the only people you let us bring over here was a crackhead. I want. I'm going to keep it a hundo with you guys. Okay. Did yeah. you hear what I just said? Yes. I, I don't try to breeze by that. How is how is she? By the way. She's, Auntie Unk. She's doing winny things. Yeah. Okay, do you know we're going to have to have her in for a follow-up eventually, somebody, right? Yeah, it's going to be rough because somebody died and, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, somebody man, dies and that means that died. she needs more crack. <laughs> How'd I calculate that? <laughs> it's crackonomics. It's crackonomics. I want to, I want to do a follow-up with Auntie Unk, but... I want to make sure that this podcast stays fresh. And one of the things that, you know, one of the ways I want to do that is to start having guests. I don't necessarily think that. I think I'm more interested in talking to people that you guys know. There's not mm-hmm. like, hey, I got this fucking you know, cool ass person that I want to bring on the show. Like, I'm I'm more interested to talk to people that you know from your community and you know things that especially you know I'm interested in. And I'm definitely I'm interested in the dude that cuts the lawn. I'm interested in the lady that's selling plates. Like, I mean, you guys, any right. anything that you guys just might think is just any normal day to day stuff. You know, I I want you to start bringing in here. So, so like, wait a minute, Seth. Some of these things don't happen in other places. I mean, I I don't I don't think so. No, I mean, may, maybe I, I no, not a, no, not as a, not wow. not where I live, Craig. Wow, not where I live and not where I work. Don't you stay in St. Pete now? I do stay in St. Pete. Yes, but you, you know, know Seth, we should you should take the experiences that you are learning and getting from us and in our community, and we will help you try and bring some of these concepts to your community. Yeah, and sounds and, like a plan. And well, no, I don't give together. a shit. Fuck my community. I no, can't, no, I can't no, say no, fuck no, the community, no, 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 no. man. Community. Because at the end We're of the day, if we can yeah. get everybody on the same page no, my, yeah. our, my and breach here. this whole gap between the whole black and white thing and really have, show people that we are all the same that's in right. this same fucking damn pot. 
But we, we don't call have, the states. We we're cool. We're close. We've bridged the gap. So okay, well, I, I'm much more interested in your community. My community. I don't even. I don't even know what my community well, is. Seth, you well, know, you need to change that. Well, what Seth, do, you, do you know that the last time the people of your color were really interested in our community? What when they were protesting back no, in the day? No, no. I'm just talking about we pretty much lost our community. You mean what? Like selling homes or something? No. Let's go way back. You guys showed up and then. What's you guys, man? Pale face. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla face. <laughs> All right, pale face showed up, and what happened? What do we do? Usually, all hell breaks loose later on. Like you know, just things happen. Let's just say that things happen. So we're kind of skeptical of you being so interested in our community. We would like to know about your community. Okay, well, there ain't a lot going on, man. It's well, pretty I fucking... mean, you haven't brought a meth head on the show. I don't know any meth. The only people so I know. Why do we have to know a crackhead? So? Because you do, because she lives behind your barber shop, and okay. you know what? If there okay. was a crackhead that lived behind this studio or lived behind where I lived, I would definitely. Believe it or not, there's there's probably one. I understand, but you yeah. guys, you guys are right next to door or I know just any, down the street. There's or, functioning crackheads all over the place. No, but they would be a meth head in your neighborhood. Are you guys are you guys offended that I wanted Auntie Unk on the show? I didn't know there was oh, hostility. No, definitely not offended. No. Okay, all. didn't know there was any hostilities no. towards no, that episode. No, no, no. We don't no. have you, Seth, you know we don't get down like that. Did you guys know that I saw Lance at the YMCA? Did he tell you? Of course yeah. he did. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I was like, I was coming down the stairs because I started working out again, and Uh-oh. and then I saw it said co- it said Coach on the back, and then he had a big ass fucking straw hat, and yeah. I, and he was like, oh, he like I said he said my name, and I was like, oh fuck, I go. <laughs> Oh, there's a fan here. I was like, I've never even seen a fan at the YMCA. And I was like, he's black, even better. And then, uh-huh. and, and, and then I got down oh there. Oh, my God. And, and then I got down there, and it was lat. And I was like, oh, shit, what's going on, dude? So uh, I guess their soccer game got rained out or something. So. Yeah. But uh, that why I don't know if you know that YMCA that uh, that he that they just built over there like off sixty second. But holy shit, man! They got this. They got a splash pad, yeah. a basketball court. Off of sixty second, where? Sixty second Avenue, man. It's just like, north. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where? Sixty second and what? Forty ninth or something? About, yeah, about to, like you turned right off Fourth Street, turn on sixty second. Uh, you just make it's a, something by um. There's a school right by it. There's like a new uh, middle school or something. Yeah, they built a new middle school, but it used to be Lelman. No, it's on the it's on four it's off of four street. Yeah, it's oh, on Snail Island. It's sixty. Yeah, oh, yeah. um, fucking. Uh, it, what it, is that? North Shore. No, it's uh, uh it's Norwood or something like that back uh, there. I don't yeah, know. But I, anyway, they got a new YMCA. Yeah, they, they got a new school that were built together. Yes. And. Mm. Damn, I ain't know that. Did yeah, they let, play away games. I gotta get out of my city a little more. <laughs> well, see, Seth, shit. we wouldn't know that because we're constantly in our neighborhood. You got, I mean, listen, this is a great fucking place, man. So I know that there's one that's down on like first, uh, first out, first that Avenue. That's the only one I knew yeah, about. Yeah, that's yeah, the that Heather one Gill is one. Outdated now. Yeah, that's the one that I, I used to go to when I first when I first moved to St. Pete. So uh, what the what, what the fuck was I gonna ask you guys about? Um, what do you guys think about the uh, the Trump assassination oh, attempt, buddy? Yeah, I just found out it was another one. Yeah, like that is just on his this golf is just course ridiculous. or some shit. This he, is ridiculous now. Uh, like it's just getting past just. You know, when I watched the debate the other night, and I didn't even plan on watching all of it, but it was so entertaining. I had to, I was glued <laughs> to the TV, <laughs> but for a moment I just closed my eyes, and it was like. I remembered I was fortunate enough to be a part of the whole student council deal back in the eighth grade, seventh grade, and shit. I was the treasurer back for, in student council. I was also the treasurer. Oh hell yeah! But um, I was part of the process, and if you closed your eyes and just just listened, <laughs> it sounded just like the seventh, eighth grade student council. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 the David Muir, he sounded like the teacher trying to keep fucking damn control oh, yeah. over oh, the students yeah. and shit. <laughs> he was like, and he's so frustrated because he could You don't have to bring anybody's mom into this. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's good. He was kind of the referee and he was the poor little guy, man. <laughs> Neither one of the motherfuckers. Oh, 
man. Directly did anything right. It was sounded like two fucking kids anything. up there. It was, it was. She was up there lying her ass off. He was up there dodging every fucking bullet that I'm was shot like his he way. He did the Matrix dodging that questions. Up. He yeah. the best to ever do it. Yeah. He answered every question and ain't answer shit. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> ain't answer a fucking thing. They asked him. What was your policy and how yeah, you gonna do something different on Obamacare? Yeah. He say, the motherfuckers keep on letting 20 million people cross the border. <laughs> <laughs> They're killing people and eating their animals and shit. <laughs> and y'all ain't doing shit about it. <laughs> and that was that his was answer. classic. That was his answer. Man. You got to give it to him, man. Donald Trump You got to give it to both he of them. A, I he, give them both a round they, of applause. Yeah, they did that. Y'all did, did that. Y'all did God that. God damn it. Give it up. And that was I the mean, best. She was blatantly lying. Her teeth almost fell out. She was lying so goddamn much. Well, did you guys notice that she doesn't, I mean, you can't ask her anything without her going into her, that she was an upper class, you know, or a middle class, you know, family and raised by her mom and all yeah, like, yeah. She, that's what she goes into any time, anytime it's you, a, it's, it's, the only point that she actually, if you want to say drove home <laughs> was the whole abortion thing. Right. And you can't tell us about our body. You had <laughs> the, the 200 million women. They um, instantly they're going for her now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because God damn it, you're right. Yeah. And that's it. So outside yeah. of that, it, it, it's just a it's, lot of people take politics very seriously. I notice it on the yeah. show. You know, I try again, like it's it's in our faces every single day right now. So, you know, I'm just letting it, you know, I'm letting it happen to me. But do you guys uh do you guys take like do you guys look at the debate and go, oh, my God, our country's fucked? Or do you think it's funny like I do? I think it's funny. Yeah. I even Here go another little caveat for you. This fucker, goddamn Trump, he has 34 felonies. 34 of them. Yeah. And he can run for president. Why is he that not? I can't even vote for as a convicted <laughs> felon. As a felon. With my three felonies. Yeah. I got yeah. three, How and they're old, work? old, old, old fellas. How does this system work? How I can't it? even vote for the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <we're> confused. <laughs> can't participate in the process. But he can be the president. You but he be. can run for president you that could. I can't even vote for. Real, you could be president too. For what? Yeah, I'm just saying that. You even... So I can get assassinated. <laughs> Listen, they. I got... wouldn't even make it to the convention. They got this guy before he got the shots off. Apparently, he was there from like uh, he was there. From... How was he there? He was there. He got there at about one. 1 a.m. And I think- did you ever hear about the Secret Service, Seth? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This ain't supposed to happen. Uh, I, I, I got into 300 yards of you. They, they didn't do a sweep. They did and, and clear out the whole place. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I really think they should start using drones. I mean, I think they're kind of relying on like they're not using drones. I don't think so. So what? This guy was spotted. So I guess what they do is they go and they they look at the whole. Be- ahead, be- while he's playing, they go ahead and they look at the hole and they scout out the area. And I guess when they did that, they saw the rifle pointing out of this fence and they started shooting at the guy. And then the guy got away and they eventually, you know, found him and pulled him over. But I mean, this this. How du- do you know that that is a rifle sticking out of? The fence what was line? the rifle doing within three hundred and fifty <laughs> yards of the president? I, you know, again, these are these are interesting <laughs> questions. I, yeah, I, I never. To me, ain't the Secret Service like the most tight? Wide fucking security on the planet? Yes, yes. Okay, I, and this happened twice in less than a couple months? So what are you thinking? Somebody's trying to, it's an inside job? It's a fucking stage. Yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood. Is Come he, on. Is he staging it to get it's a fucking stunt. A movie. It's We're a stunt. A movie, who's, who's do, who is doing the stunts then? Who's pulling the strings? Who's directing this Donald movie? Donald Trump. Um, I wouldn't say he, I'm not going to give him all of that credit. I'm pretty He's sure just the people yeah. that wants this shit to go the way they want it to go. The people that are in power, the rich, the filthy rich. You think the Democrats are trying to kill Trump? Fuck no. Fuck uh, no. No. The it Democrats, benefits them yeah, to kill him. Yeah, they not in the kill. I mean, they're great candidates to blame, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, they yeah. actually are all in the same bed together when you close the door. Fuck. <laughs> no, yeah. they're not doing yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're no. in trouble, Seth, when it really comes down to it. I right. mean, as a country. Are we? As a country, as a whole, yes. Yeah. Hold on one second. It's my buddy Tuttle. He does a podcast on here. Hey, Tuttle. Hey, Tuttle, I'm doing pigmentation. Can I call you right after? No, no, you're all good. I'm going to give you a call right after if that's cool. All right, see you, man. 
That's Tuttle. He does a loner and stoner podcast here. He's, he's a loner, loner and a stoner. And a stoner. He's, the, uh, he's the loner, but he does get stoned also. And then we've got a stoner. He's a cool guy. Have you met him? No, I just, he the met loner, you guys, stoner, that's a cool fucking dude. He met you guys at the baseball game. Um, okay. Oh, I remember him. <laughs> Craig, you said that we're in trouble. Like, well, Yeah, as a country, as a whole. I mean, like, but, uh, what is the country not in trouble? There, can I tell right. you? There, yeah. What has there ever been? Yep. U- there was unity the day after 9-11. Like, there, can, I, can I be honest? There's never going to be fucking unity. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, there will. No, when? When Godzilla comes out of the Gulf of yes. Mexico mm. and starts stomping on shit, everybody going to come together. That's that's what that's what it's gonna take. Yeah, everybody has yeah. everybody has their own beliefs. You're not really gonna pull people out of what their core beliefs are. So when you want to have this unity, you're gonna have to start asking people who vehemently disagree with how other people live to you know to come together harmoniously. Like that's just the biggest falsity that I think I've ever heard in my life. I mean, when you when I hear people say that now, I automatically tune it out because I think it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Does I mean doesn't it sound fucking so stupid to you? Yes, but that's why they. He made it that way so everybody can just think that way and give up and my problem is we, it's not about the unity per se because if you just educated people properly on everything that we got going on i believe everything else would fall in place the yeah. problems that we have today is strictly boils down to the educ- I love a great deal just as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks. And if I am, man, it's got to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three-month plan, I'm going to call them out on it. Turns out... It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as Mint. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk-to-text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only 15 bucks a month, you must go to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Imagine the softest sheets you've ever felt. Now imagine them getting even softer over time. That's what you'll feel with Bowl & Branch's best-selling signature sheets in 100% organic cotton. In a recent customer survey, 96% replied that Bowl & Branch sheets get softer with every wash. Start getting your best night's sleep in sheets that get softer and softer for years to come. Try their sheets with a 30-night guarantee. Plus, get 15% off with your first order at bowlandbranch.com. Code WONDERY15. Exclusions apply. See site for details. Hey, Prime members. Have you heard... You can listen to your favorite podcasts ad-free? Good news! With Amazon Music, you have access to the largest catalog of ad-free top podcasts included with your Prime membership. To start listening, download the Amazon Music app for free or go to amazon.com slash ad-free podcast. That's amazon.com slash ad-free podcast to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Education or lack thereof of the people. And people are not even down to politics. People are not properly educated. People know what they know, what they've been told or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But they actually know for themselves exactly what the fuck am I even participating in? But do you even, but do you, well, you can read and be educated, but do you even know you're trusting these fucking strangers that have their own motives in life and their career? We're trusting them to do what, what, what they say they're going to do because we, that they've done something in the past. Like, it seems like we're trusting these people that we don't know to, to do us, to do the right thing and to lead us to a better life. I just don't, I just don't look to our politicians for that. But again, it goes back to the education. What are you trusting them for? We're not even educated on what. What do we want out of these people? We just have been told and I just want to give them my taxes and have them leave me alone. But again, you've been told in life that this is what you have to do to equate to success or anything else. This is to be a part of society. You have to vote. You have to pay your taxes. You have to have to have to. But you don't know why you have to pay taxes. You don't know where the tax money is being allocated to what is for. All you know is you have to do it. You know that. There's a we have to vote. 
but we don't know what we're voting for, what the mm-hmm. process is. Most people, if they really were educated, will understand that you vote locally. That's the most important vote, the local. The, your mayor, your city council, yeah. those are the people that we can directly and are directly affected by. We ain't directly affected by the governor, the president, the senators, nobody. That's so far up the list. Yeah. Yeah. We're voting on the presidents that aren't telling us why the same gas that was 89 cent back in 1991 it's five dollars. Y'all haven't done anything to change the enrichment process of petroleum. It's the same fucking gas, but it's five dollars. They're not going to tell you that the value of this same dollar that we're killing ourselves for to get every day and obtain to have a better quality of life is not worth what it was once was. So it takes more of those dollars. That's the only change in the gas. It takes more of it to obtain it. You got to take more dollars because that dollar is worth more. But if the if the people was educated on that and the whys, then there would be a lot of people that have to answer. But we don't question that because we're not even educated on finances properly. We're not educated on politics properly and what matters in politics. Because to me, yeah, that dollar that I'm breaking my nose and my back for to get and obtain every day, I need that motherfucker to be worth what it was worth. I don't need it to continue to depreciate in value where I have to bust my ass to obtain more for the same consumer goods and products that we were afforded. I remember back in the day, goddamn Whopper was 99 cents. Oh, yeah. That's now that yeah. bitch is $5. <laughs> it's the same fucking bread, meat, and, and lettuce, and tomatoes and shit. Yeah. It's the same mayonnaise. Yeah. Same yeah. drive through yeah. It just take more dollars to acquire this goddamn Whopper. I the burger, the whole, burger might be a little thinner, but yeah. shit, I'm still paying more for it. I hope nobody uh. gets mad, but as a whole, as a country, we've gotten lazy. Mm-hmm. All together, we're a lazy country. Because the lack of education. Yeah, people Again, sit around they, and just... They tell you, oh, yeah, it's the best country in the world. Opportunity, land of opportunity. But guess what? You can also, the opportunity is right there for you. You go get a pedal's license right down there downtown and stand on the corner and big. And big. Mm. Who's lazy, Craig? You talk about, are you talking about specifically these people that are just go out and stand on the corner? Are you talking American about people. Americans? People Americans. that are living, born that, in the United that States. That they don't want to work? Like, what is they it? Don't they don't have to. They don't have to. I don't have to work. Do, I can go stand on the corner and ask a thousand cars for a dollar. Yeah. There was a guy. I'm gonna make out great. <laughs> there was a guy who had to go. I hit the McDonald's on the south side the other day, and there was a guy. There's a guy standing at the exit when you leave. So like, yeah, yeah. you have to stop. And then he's he's fu- there every day. He gets mad as fuck when you drive by. That's and, right. Right. And I had my daughter in the car, so she's like, you know, I mean, I got to <clears> explain to her about you know homeless people and stuff like that. I always, I still kind of get sad when I see homeless people, but this guy got mad as fuck, almost chasing me down the street. So. Yeah. Because he chooses to be homeless. How many homeless people do you know have a sense of entitlement? <laughs> a, a lot of a lot them. Of them. <laughs> yeah. What, what can people, How can you feel entitled and you're a fucking bum and homeless? What are the benefits, and you guys can tell me this because you guys you know, told me about the dude who mows the lawn. What are the benefits people can get there, where, to where they don't have to work? Is it disability? Is it welfare? Like what, what else? All, All of the above. All of it. Are there other, 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 other like little scams or things you can tweak to get more money? You don't even have to scam nothing. What Just do you, be lazy. You can be lazy. I can go right now to the food stamp office, tell them I'm homeless homeless not provide no kind of information they'll give me two hundred dollars worth of food stamps for the next six months really? right now right now all you got to do is tell them you're homeless no shit yes i mean yes everybody should do that. so there's all the fucking excuses that these homeless people have when you feel yourself feeling sorry there this is laziness my man this is not uh, 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 homeless or you know, feed America. Or These motherfuckers problem. are not. We are not poor. There is opportunity all up and down this motherfucker, and we do take care of our people. You got the people that are just too lazy to go in even fucking them file for the food stamps. Is this a broken system, or is this how the food stamps are supposed to be given out? Just on like, hey, I need them, so here you go. This is just a part of the system that 
It's, it's not a good the, part, but yeah. it's designed into it. How often are food stamps getting traded for other things? Daily. Daily. What do they get? Every tra- hour on now. What do they get traded for? for? Whatever you need. Drugs. Anything. Whatever. Sex. Anything. Whatever. Can you pay a hooker with food stamps? The right one. The right one. <laughs> I mean, shit, you got enough food stamps, you could definitely get a haircut from me. <laughs> Straight up. With the right amount of stamps. Have you ever taken food stamps before, Craig? Hell yeah. <laughs> Not for a haircut, but... Not for a haircut, oh, okay. but yeah, I yeah. haven't stepped in food stamps. Shit, I oh, mean... Oh, no, I don't mean accept them. That's fine. I just thought yeah, somebody paid man, you with them. No, I, no. I, I have been paid with them. Yeah, but, you know, but, but not for had, a haircut. She had, like, a lot of kids. Okay. And that is, so that meant she had a lot of stamps. How much? How many extra stamps do you get per kid? Well, I think I cut four kids, and I think she gave me a hundred and twenty stamps. Oh, holy hell, man! So is yeah. that like a hundred and twenty bucks? No, okay, that's like sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, okay. Yeah. Right, man, I might get some food stamps today. I mean, like my wife would love me if I came home with you know like an extra hundred bucks. You're gonna bucks. make too much. No, money. no, but I well, can well, I? Well, you gotta lie, right? You have to lie, that's and then what, guess what? That's gonna do give you a frame shame on the Kushner family. Yep. The I've, Kushner name. I've already done that by ex- existing. Yeah, that's gonna even make it worse. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna put you out. The well, house. Can you yeah, go, they're gonna disown you. Can you get some food stamps for me, Rio? For what? For Just what? for fu- dude, so I can get why some the fucking fuck food. Do, why do I gotta put my name on it? Go down there and get your own. Because you said stamp. you can just walk in there and tell me your homeless. You and- can, well, not I, me. Well, you said I'm gonna bring shame upon my family. Well, why would I want to bring shame upon mine? I don't. I don't know. I didn't know that you there was. You could feel shame. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I feel shame you too. I didn't know you could feel shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck, <see>? yeah. <laughs> The people that don't feel shame, they're out there on the corner, <laughs> out there on the begging, corner for begging for dollars. For dollars. Shame is why I go to work every day. Shame is why you go to work every day. To prevent it. it. That's right. That's hey, I want to give a shout out to all the people that listen to us. Thank Straight y'all. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you for uh, for making us a finalist for Creative Loafing's Best of the Bay. We'll find oh, yeah. out who yeah. wins, I think, September 25th. So you guys know Bubba That's Bu- the day after my anniversary. Ooh. Yeah, 19 Ooh. years. 19, baby. Uh, 19 years. Oh, Love you, Quinn. Anniversary. Love you, Quinn. Craig uh, or Bubba got you guys uh, tickets for the event, so you don't have to worry about buying them or anything like that. Cool. I Thanks, Bubba. So where is it actually going to be? Hard Rock. The, uh, the here? Casino? This yeah. casino? Some, yeah, some, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm definitely buying some hard bottoms. Yeah. I'm showing up. <laughs> I'm Seth, stepping. what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Don't tell me an Operation Pigmentation shirt. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear. I, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did when I went to the awards uh, in 2017. Uh, in 2017, that I wore. That was 20 years ago. I wore. <laughs> <laughs> you go wear the same suit. No, no, I can't fit into that. <laughs> oh, Goddamn. No, no, I wore. I, I wore my St. Pete Legend shirt because St. Pete Legend just came out, and I wore a sports okay. jacket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear an Operation Pigmentation shirt Did and I'll wear have, a sports jacket. You got pads Okay, I'm on with your you elbows. with that. I'm with you with no, that. No, no, no pads or elbows. None of that shit. So you don't have a patch on your elbow? Um, I don't on know. On the blazer? My, I got... I got all my. No, I, he got a sports coat. I got all my. Oh, that's different. Listen, yeah, the I got, blazer got the patch patches, on the, okay. yeah, yeah, I got all Thank my. You. All my suits came from my buddy Sean Daly, who used to work at Home Shopping Network. He had a show on there, oh, so okay. they they gave him like all these suits and shit. And then you know what? I I didn't have any nice clothes for anything, so yeah. I'd always go to his house, and then he would he would dress me, yeah. and then he would let me keep his clothes. That's cool. So that's that's where I have like the sports coat and everything like that. What yeah. are you guys wearing? I'm trying to figure that out now because yeah, okay. I have That's me a why sports we had coat. A discussion. I got me a sports coat that I've never wore. It's the first one I ever bought. And uh, you want to go all three sports coats, or Craig? You don't have one. It's too. It's too close for me to get a sports coat. What about Rio? Rio, you got a coat yeah, for him? Rio already. No, got I only have one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I, I have. I have to check though. I might have one then, but it's, it's, no, I got a, a old. I but think see, I threw it gonna away. It's going to be way too big. It's going to nah, be way too gotta, big. Yeah, it's going to I'm asking you. if we do. Do we want to coordinate or do we want to just be our own men? You know, I just it's up it's up to you guys. We we wanted to at least be in the same area code. All right. As far as what we wear? Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to wear my sports coat, but I do need to get me a I, different because, color Operation Pigmentation shirt because this is totally clashing with my shirt. Wait, wait, I think we only have black. I don't think we, uh, I don't know. We, we need another color. Okay. All right. I'll talk. Because my sports coat. Is blue and a lot of shades of blue, and I'm gonna wear some blue jeans to with it, some and I'm shoes. probably gonna get me some flyers, all crispy white Air Force Ones. Mm. Yeah. yeah, 
Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Where, where are you at, Craig, with your... With your Pretty uh, much the same thing. Okay. Pretty much the same So you thing. need to do that, too. Now, you can do it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be an all-blackish. So we need to get you some all-white Air Force Ones, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're going to do that. What about the... What, I like, like to wear John Moran shoes. Is that cool? No. No? no. I can't get the jaws? No. no. All right. That's not coordinated. It's, we're going hard white. Yeah, versus. hard white. How yeah. much are Air Force Ones? About one hundred twenty dollars. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, you ain't got to spend that much. All right, we will. Uh, we'll we'll figure out what we're gonna wear. That'll be in and, a guess. And thanks, fans, once again. Thank all the fans. It's somebody we were supposed to give a shout out to. We don't forget. Did somebody call the shop or what? what who were we giving a shout out to? Well, I got um. I was just gonna sh- not necessarily shout out, but put everybody up on the fall festival that uh, the daycare across the street is having. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on in with that? October? That's right. That's what we need. Yeah. To. And um, she's having a little fall festival, and it's a fundraiser for something. Um, I gotta pull the thing up again. <laughs> yeah, we'll have all, all the right. information. But next I got. Week. The, I thought I texted to you the other day. Not me or Craig? When you came up to the shop? No, you, you remember gave, I was telling you about you it. You gave yeah, me we, a little. You gave me a little like a uh, little like flyer. Did I give you a flyer or did I text it to you? You gave you gave me a flyer. I was, so you got the flyer. Well, no, I didn't keep the flyer. I gave you back the flyer. I think I didn't think it was a keep. You, it looked like you only had one. It was yeah. all folded up. It had been Seth, used. Will we pass you stuff. Keep it. Yeah, because okay. you're you're our producer. Slash. <laughs> yeah, man, you Seth money, yeah, you're dog. Seth money. We just we be like, who's the money man? Yeah, Fucking Seth. Seth. We don't know right. shit. Okay. We just give it to Seth. God damn it! I, it just looked like we're was, trying to. I was trying to give you content. I thought it was like oh, when and you, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So it's a lot of people that would like to come on the show and be interviewed by you. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's, who are we having on next week? You tell me. We'll figure that out. Are we having, on the, we'll we'll have you, are, are we uh, having on the nice young lady who makes food? Well, we, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll let you know. We're going to have to, you know, get it all together. Now. Okay. We've got to get a list of people and all right. find out their availability. Can you, let me and, know by, can you let me know by Friday if we got somebody booked for yes. Tuesday? True. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We That's, can do that, yeah, Seth do that. Money. All right, let me, Seth Money, let, man. Let me, let me hit you two studs with uh, one more thing before we get out of here. Did you guys see Diddy got arrested last night? I'm wow. looking at this shit here on the thing. I'm yeah. like, wow. Yeah, uh, Diddy's get finally went inside. It's uh, it looks like it's all. Uh, there should be announcing it at any minute now. But well, what's the indictment for sticking it in the butt? They oh, have it. not. They have not said. I guess they said they were going to unseal unseal the documents today. Let's see. Mm. There, Diddy indicted on uh, uh, charges of racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking. Oh yeah. They, oh yeah. They, He's going down. Let's see. This, <laughs> they got him. They got him <laughs> dead to rights. They got your ass. Yeah, he's Diddy. done all of that. Oh wow. Ooh. Yeah. This just came out here. He's been charged with racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking in a federal indictment unsealed on Tuesday in New York. Combs abused, threatened, and coerced victims from at least 2008 to the present times. Combs Ooh. is now inside the federal courthouse in Manhattan. Uh, yeah. Prosecutors claim Combs created and ran a criminal enterprise through his business that engaged in crimes including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice, according to the indictment. Guilty on all charges. Everything oh, short poor of little murder. man. Holy shit. Poor little man. Can I tell you what I thought that they were going to throw in there, to be honest? Because they said they're going to, I thought that they were going to have him with Tupac's murder. Wow. It might be in there. You don't know I don't, yet. I you mean, don't know. They got everything else in there. Like, it might uh, have biggest murder in there. He might have had something to do with that, too. Now hey, we, y'all, y'all remember Aaliyah? this? Aaliyah? Y'all remember this? Yeah. Y'all remember this? If you want to get off in this industry and you don't want your producer all dancing in the video. <laughs> the shiny ass clothes and shit. <laughs> Come over here to death row. <laughs> and now both of them in prison. They body slam sugar gas. You think right. they ain't for the man? They for the tough P. P. Diddy ass boy. They for the tell him a new one. The only difference is when they got they got a uh, sugar. Sugar was like, well, you know they got me, and now they got P. Diddy. It's like. <laughs> they got me, dog. No, P. Diddy finna take down a whole bunch of people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Black, I'm Mace waiting on who's crack. coming out. Mace, Black yeah. Rob, the locks. I mean, yeah. that. everybody finna get bound. Yeah. Uh, goddamn Jay Z. Yeah. yeah. I know his ass nervous as a hooker in church right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you. I mean, I'm gonna read the full indictment. What is a lot of dirt? Guys, That it's 14 pages long. I mean,. Hmm. That's all. You guys have, you know, had brushes with the law. That's. I mean, is he gonna be in jail forever if those. If any Pretty of those much. stick, yep. I mean, you got to figure he in his fifties. <laughs> yeah, 
if he get a 40 year sentence, yeah, a that's life. It's a Anything more than 20 years is a life sentence yeah, for him. He's going he's gonna to not want to do any of that time like that. So guess what he's going to do? He's going to make a, another hit record. He's going to tell, but it's going to be his best, best hit record, record ever. ever. Why, did he, why did he not flee? Like, why did he not leave? Where the fuck is he going to go? go? I heard Morocco. I heard Morocco. Man, he ain't got enough money to pay them now. It's not even that. Do you know uh, the goddamn Uncle Sam? You ain't running from him. I, but, One of the biggest charges is racketeering. That means that Uncle Sam did not get his cut. Yep. The fuck? Yep. How yep. many people you know that made it and and and, and survived for tax evasion? Yeah, they don't even care no. about the sex IRS trafficking. IRS coming to find your motherfucking yeah. ass. Yeah, guys, shit. This is. I don't. Can you even put this together? Sex trafficking, kidnapping, yep. forced labor. Yep. Mm-hmm. You remember when he, he did all that? Why? You remember like, when he made them them people walk across that bridge to get that cheese? Yeah, the make, making of the making the That's band. Right. Yeah. That's when the best rapper was on that. You knew who it was. Dylon. Right? Dylon. 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 Spit straight hot fire. Spit straight hot fire. You know who it is? The top Dylan. five. My top five in the industry. Let me hear your top five. Dylan. Oh yeah. Dylan. Oh yeah. Dylan. Oh yeah. Dylan. Okay. And Dylan. Nothing but fire. <laughs> Nothing but fire. Yeah, do you, I don't know if you guys saw Dylan put out a video about a month ago saying that 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 the way that he was portrayed and everything ruined his life and that nobody takes him seriously as an artist and <laughs> he's not yeah. able to make money. He was fucking mad at Diddy, so. That wasn't Diddy fault, Dylan. That, that was on you, that buddy. That was on you, buddy. You know that what to do. You. you know what you could have done. Yeah. You would have let him rip that little hole back there. Oh, goodness. Hey, that's what was hey. going on. Let's see. I guess he didn't. he's not being accused of, of rape at all, so. That's part of the sex the trafficking. Sensual. Is it? Yeah, that's part of the sex trafficking. Can I, he ripped Usher. That's what they say. A whole lot of people say it, too. He ripped him. That's that what they say. Mm-hmm. And if that boy Dylan wanted to be a star, he should have let him rip him. Should have let him rip Can him. Can I ask you guys this? And, mm-hmm. I, and I don't know if this is part of something bigger, but you've got Diddy who, as soon as he got out of college, I don't know if he got the internship or he got a, you know, a job at the record label. You know, obviously, smart guy. They, I made a ton of money early on with Biggie. Is now as a billionaire, what? Why? Why get into? Why get into this business of sex trafficking and forced labor and kidnapping? Like what? Wh- when you have, are you working for other people, or I mean, or is that just something you desire? So much power, are you bored? You like, gotta think before. Before people are who they are, money only magnifies Absolutely. it. Magnifies it. Yeah. It makes it. it big, yeah. But you're like a. I don't know if you're. Like, he hey. was already that. He just couldn't afford it. Now and he can afford then it. And what happens is you have enough money. And then you start pushing the boundaries because you're not getting the same thrill. So and now you don't suffer when you got it. When you're a billionaire, yeah. you don't suffer the same consequences as my broke ass. That's right. But doesn't it doesn't it? I mean, I feel like with everybody, it eventually, you know, the walls come closing in when you have something like this happened. He I'm, doesn't care. It's probably a turn on. for Well, you, you got to think, too. Uh when you become a billionaire, I've never been one or been around one, but I can only imagine that you have a sense of power almost close to God because there's very few people on this planet that can tell you what to do or control you when you got that much money and Watch that this. much power I got a with question, it. Seth. <sighs> yes. J-Lo had nothing to do with it. I mean, what, he just started all this shit after her? Yeah, she knows something too. All right, here guys, this just came up here. Uh, you want to hear more about the abuse? No, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Fuck no. It said Combs allegedly gave victims a series of party drugs during extended sex performances called freak offs. Combs allegedly planned. <laughs> do you guys have freak offs? Combs allegedly wow. planned and controlled the sex performances, and he often electronically recorded them. Oh boy. You so know, he got the shit on tape. That's why he's got like Jay Z's probably on yeah, tape and he shit got like that. A lot that. of people on tape. He got a lot of people fucked up. Yeah. Listen to fucked this. Fucked in the game. Yeah. The f- Literally. I, this is the first time we've had breaking news during pigmentation. The freak offs sometimes lasted days at a time, including yeah. multiple commercial sex workers and often included narcotics such as ketamine, ecstasy, GHB, with Combs giving the victims, uh, with Combs distributing to the victims to keep them obedient and compliant. That's right. What the fuck, dude? He was he was uh 
He but was, it uh, wasn't like he went and kidnapped all them people. Yeah, and told, they, 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 they came. all came on their own free will. Their own free will. <laughs> yeah, but knowing I mean, that this is what was about to happen. But I yeah. don't know. I don't think you can host fr- freak offs and give out drugs and record them. I don't know. I yes, feel- you can. Yes, you can. When you a billionaire and you invite you a bitch to your billionaire house and everybody decides they want to come. I mean, I because did you get a inf- did you get an invitation? Uh, uh, Seth? No, I didn't. Yeah. Right. None of us didn't. But the people that did get an invitation, clearly they was somebody and they was in his circle. They know exactly what goes on at the freak off. And they attended there. They probably came with their own goddamn GHB. So are you saying free Diddy? Is that what we're saying? No, 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 no. no, no. no. He getting what Nobody he got coming that. to him. But right. I'm just saying, like. Remember when they raided his house back in, uh, I don't know, what's it, back in. I don't know, last April, I think. Uh, listen, so here's what they found in Diddy's house when they went to his house in Miami and Los Angeles. They seized AR-15 rifles, ammunition, a large capacity drum magazine. They also seized electronic evidence of the freak offs held by Combs. Yes, sir. That was more important than the gun. That's the freak offs. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. Because that's that is See, what evidence it is, of is, what people is, is that's somebody, got a lot of money. That's right. Somebody who was very up in power. Had to get all the tapes. Now, if anything, he's guilty of extortion. Yeah. Because he's probably extorted a lot of these people. Yes. Of course. Yes. Just and imagine. Do you think, do you just imagine you have somebody like, you know, Paris Hilton. She came to hang out, but now it's been three days. Yeah. And you know how many dinglings been in her? And you're steady feeding her drugs. But not only that, at the end of these five days of debauchery, <laughs> now... I can say to Paris, so I know your dad's going to, you know, hook that deal up for me, right? Yeah. And Paris has to say, I'll yeah. take care of it. Because she know what's on that tape. She know what's she on know that what the tape. fuck she's been doing the last couple of days. An elephant, a horse. All up her ass. All kind of people and animals and shit. So how did Diddy get taken down? You think it was somebody in one of these videos that was somebody. like. Somebody. That just said fuck. Because I don't know if they'll ever. They're not going to make these videos public. Uh, oh, no, yeah, they will they're be. They're coming out. Trust and believe. You think? Yeah, once they get. Once the, the right b- person gets out of it. Oh, man. This is deeper than Diddy. It's a lot yeah. of people involved. We talking fucking whole Hollywood. Yep. That's a lot. This and is hip-hop, probably and the hip-hop, all yeah, of that. Yeah, all of that. That's all intertwined together. Because you can best believe some of these rich people, probably white, probably has some kind of fantasy of being with DMX or some shit. Oh, don't bring D- R.I.P. Don't bring DMX into this filthy <laughs> shit. The point Say of it, it is, is <laughs> yeah. everybody knows, I don't give a damn what color you is, when you get into that show business, the only color that matters is the green. Is the green. And people sell their souls for that shit every day. Every day. Uh, most of them people that have all that money, they sold their soul a long time ago to be where they at right now. Straight up. Yeah. The freak offs, man. The, the freak offs. Yeah. You guys ever heard about a freak off before? Not to well, today. We, we, we've heard about shit like that. <laughs> yeah, we ain't been called no goddamn freak off. There's one good rule every man should have, and that is one penis per fantasy. Yeah. The one dick per fantasy rule. That's it. One dick per fantasy. Is there anything else? <laughs> I didn't know that we were going to break the, uh, we were going to get uh, all these details of the Diddy stuff as we were doing the show. That was pretty exciting. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to hit before we come back next week with a special guest of your choosing? Just America. Stop being lazy, everybody. Get up and work and go get those food stamps. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Bitch. Go down there and do some work. <laughs> I'm telling you. Stop living off of me and self money. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm racketeering. That's usually what you, you by yourself on that because yeah, goddamn it, Uncle Sam is going to body slam your yeah, ass. A lot of time, they mean. ain't even playing. You better off doing a hate crime <laughs> than the fuck with Uncle Sam, buddy. <laughs> Straight up, buddy. <laughs>